today i will take your lecture on production of fermented foods what is fermentation fermentation is a metabolic process that consumes sugar in the absence of oxygen which results in the production of either lactic acid acetic acid along with gases or other volatile substances this uh, fermentation process is one of the oldest ways of food preservation and lactic acid bacteria have been used to ferment or culture foods for at least 4000 years so this fermentation process is not a new things people since the days of civilization civilization used to make this fermentation process for making different products for example say the simple example can be dahi it is being prepared since a long time but at that time people were not knowing the microorganism which plays a role in the formation of curd that nothing but lactic acid bacteria or you can say the example of bread bread uh, is you uh, bread for bread making yeast is used so these are all the example of fermented food so in this course you are going lecture you are going to study about the different fermented foods used by the human beings and the science of fermentation is known as zymology lactic acid bacteria is an important bacteria that is used to ferment a uh, different products this lactic acid bacteria what it does that it converts the carbohydrate to lactic acid with addition of carbon dioxide and other organic substance says such as mannitol and dextran in earlier lecture i have already told you the two different types of respiration that is first the aerobic respiration and second is an anaerobic respiration so this anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen which results in the fermentation process and which gives the lactic acid or acetic acid or you can say ethanol these are all the by product of fermentation process this lactic acid bacteria also contributes smell taste texture and color of the food without this lactic acid bacteria fermentation of sour dough bread soya bean all fermented kinds of milk beer and pickles cannot be carried out this lactic acid bacteria is nothing but a group of beneficial bacteria which gives lactic acid as the end product and they are used in the fermented dairy products also in pickling vegetables baking wine making curing fish meats and sauces the manufacture involves a microbial process by which milk sugar lactose in converted to lactic acid this uh, i have already told you in this way the structure of milk protein changes which results in curdling of the milk protein and this occurs due to the acid accumulation by the use of this lactic acid bacteria additional features like flavor and aroma can also be enhanced lactic acid also gives fermented milk their slightly tart taste the acetaldehyde provides a characteristic aroma in yogurt and in fermented milk diacetyl contributes the buttery taste besides the bacteria that is lactic acid bacteria yeast is also a useful microorganism that is used to give a wide range of fermented food that i have already told you in making of the bread bread is a best example uh, by which we with the use of yeast we make the bread for example alcohol and carbon dioxide produced by yeast contribute to the refreshing frothy test of kefi comis and leben these are all the other products made by the yeast use of yeast next is the yogurt yogurt Uh, is formed by the symbiotic relationship between two bacteria that is streptococcus thermophilus and lactobacillus bulgaricus the and this two bacteria re also result in the shortened fermentation time time 
and the acetaldehyde which is formed as a result of fermentation provides a characteristic aroma. So thus we can say that this yeast and lactic acid bacteria are the ex excellent ambassador for microbial world. Now fermentation in food. Fermentation in food processing is the process of converting carbohydrate to alcohol or organic acid under anaerobic condition. This I have already discussed you. Then the first is fermentation in dairy foods. The fermentation in, in dairy foods that is milk has been used since a long time for giving for getting a wide range of fermented milk products since a long time, that is 10,000 BC in all over the world. To turn milk into different fermented foods involves adding lactic acid, producing microorganisms such as bacteria and yeast, which ingest lactose or milk sugar. Milk sugar, the main composition of milk sugar is lactose. So by the fermentation process, it is converted into lactic acid. And beside this, I have already told you that unique flavor and aroma is enhanced and uh, the useful, the main advantage of the making of this fermented food is that it enhances the digestibility of a human beings and also makes available vitamins and minerals and it also helps in the preservation products. For you can see that if you keep the milk like this, it will be completely bad in one day. But if you are going to make it a curd or some, you are going to make paneer, you are going to make it a paneer or cheese, then you are going to enhance the shelf life of this food product also. First is kefir. Kefir is the fermented yogurt-like drink. This kefir is formed from the Turkish word that means good filling. It is formed from a starter grain that called kefir grain and it contains a uh, 83 to 90 percent lactic acid bacteria and 10 to 17 percent yeast. Yeast by the consumption of kefir, essential vitamins, minerals, amino acid and enzymes and also the phosphorus, magnesium, calcium and vitamins like B2, B12, vitamin D, vitamin K, vitamin a availability is enhanced if it is taken as a consumption process purposes. Next is yogurt. For yogurt making, Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus bulgaricus play a key role and this yogurt plays the same level of protein and fat from which it is produced. And it, it is a good source of calcium and vitamins that is B2, B6 and B12. It is it was earlier it was found from the cow milk only but now a goat milk is also being used beside this non-dairy milk like coconut milk, almond milk and soya milk. These are also being used nowadays for the yogurt making. You can see in the figure also that different types of yogurts are available in the market with the combination of blueberry, raspberry and mango. Next fermented food is cheese. Cheese is the most popular fermented food. That is a milk product, fermented milk product. And in USA, you can see that the one third of the milk production goes in the making of cheese. There are mainly two types of cheese that is soft and hard cheese. And over 2000 varieties of cheeses are available with some of the most notable being cheddar, feta, cream, goat and blue. Next fermented milk product is shower cream. The original method for making was to simply let cream shower on its own. But nowadays more proactive process is used that is lactic acid producing bacteria called Streptococcus lactis is being used. The flavor of shower cream is mild and tangy and the texture is thick and smooth. The fat content is 10 to 14 percent and it has significantly fewer calories than mayonnaise and this shower cream also works well in make, make baking recipe for cookies, cakes, bread and pies. Now the fermentation is in vegetables. The fermented vegetables begins with the lacto-fermentation, means lactic acid bacteria is used in the fermentation of 
vegetables and when you talk about the eastern himalayan reason a wide range of fermented vegetable product products are prepared by bioprocessing the perishable vegetable for storage and further consumption as i have already told that it also helps in the preserve in the preservation it increase the shelf life of the produced and lactic acid fermentation vegetables such as gundruk sinki and kalapi are fermented vegetable product of nepal sikkim and bhutan next fermentation in indian foods india is traditionally rich in fermented foods the best example you can say that idli dosa we all used to consume uh, use in our daily day to day life and this, these are nothing but a fermented food beside idli dosa doklas vadas and kadhis are more famous fermented foods which are um, which are uh, processed by the use of lactobacillus fermented cereals and legumes that are commonly consumed in india this fermented food increases the absorption of vital minerals from gastrointestinal tracts thus preventing mineral deficiency also bread fish sauce wine and beer are some of the yeast based fermented food beverages this i have given you the list of uh, different fermented foods like rabdi kulu idli dosa dokla kinema kanji gundruk with their ingredients and place of origin and the related microorganism by which it is fermented just go through it this indian fermented foods are consumed by the local pop population not just as a diet but also a traditional medicine too this fermented food idli is easily digested and it can also be given to in the infants because it has high digestibility capacity and this fermented milk dahi can also be used to cure the intestinal disease like diarrhea diarrhea and take of dahi has anti cholesterol and anti carcinogenic anti diabetic and angiotensin converting enzyme inhibition effect and anti atopic dermatitis effect so one should recommend the, to use the dahi as a daily intake next fermentation in bakery product fermentation in a in a baking process in which yeast dough rises and increase in volume and flavor is developed in which what happens that by the fermentation process with the co2 gas which is produced it is trapped by the gluten protein i as you must be knowing that gluten protein is present in the flour so by the trapping of co2 gas the dough rises and by which it the volume increases and it for fermentation process also influences the shape crust color and crumb cell structure you, you must have uh, seen that uh, different types of bakery products fermentation in alcoholic beverages fermented beverages are produced through the process of fermentation so in this process yeast convert sugar to ethanol or alcohol beer is produced by the fermenting grain wine or hard cider is produced by fermenting fruit mead is produced by fermenting honey and milk or tree or plant sap can be used to produce fermented beverages as well and there is a limit also for the use of the yeast because yeast can cannot survive if the alcohol concentration goes above the 15 percent is so in order to produce the beverages above the concentration of ethylon ethanol if you want to go to above the 15 percent uh, higher concentration of alcohol a distillation process is used that is the distillation of alcoholic beverage is the process by which water is removed from a mixture of ethanol and water vinegar is a food product made by acetic acid bacteria that can ferment the sugar in alcohol in alcoholic liquid to acetic acid it is used for cooking and in the household and different industries due to mildly acidic nature for making for many centuries this fermentation is pro process is 
usually done by the acetic acid bacteria from the genus Acetobacter. As I have already told that uh, apple, cedar, wine, potatoes and fermented grain in this uh, process Acetobacter is used to for, for the fermentation process. Uh, you must have seen that uh, vinegar in, uh, because it is uh, and nowadays it is being used in uh, everyone's kitchens. Just go through this, uh, this uh, uh, acetic acid bacteria are generally transmitted in nature by factors like fruit flies and vinegar eels. Just go through the lecture. Thank you.